This man pushed his mother into a pit because of an argument. Then he locked her in with a barbed wire fence. Although the mother kept begging for mercy, it didn't make any difference. The man went to the machine and turned on the switch without hesitation. And eight tons of cement poured down on her. As the cement continued to flow into the pit, the mother realized the danger. She pleaded with her son to let her go, but the man didn't stop. He stood quietly and watched as her mother was buried alive in the cement. The desperate mother screamed for help, but to no avail. Not long ago, three boys were playing hide and seek in a field. They inadvertently opened a metal bucket and were shocked. The cement in the bucket revealed a woman's finger. Apparently, another young woman had been murdered. The cement murder case soon attracted the attention of the police. The crime unit identified the victim through fingerprints taken from these fingers. The victim was 35 years old, a single mom, and she had been dead for about a week. Through ultrasound fluoroscopy, they were able to see the grimace of the victim's face. They concluded that the woman had been buried alive. As the body still had her mouth open, the police immediately took a plane to the crime scene. But while they were still on the plane, a colleague sent an urgent message. The police found a new concrete body not far from the scene. Obviously, this is a serial murder case. Soon, everyone arrived at the crime scene. This woman was buried in the cement. Her body had many wounds, and her mouth and body were filled with cement. She died of asphyxiation. The police picked up a piece of cement and found that it was perfectly formed. This means that the murderer was probably in the construction industry. The cement on the girl's body was very sticky, and the ratio of cement to sand was exactly 1 to 2. If it was an ordinary person, he would never mix cement with such a high viscosity. Just as the police were analyzing, another bizarre cement murder case emerged. A police officer found traces of chemical treatment on the corpse's nose. Cement may not be the only cause of death. After research, it was discovered that the killer had performed a simple chemical excision on the body. He drilled through the nasal cavity and injected chlorine into the victim's brains. This means that the killer wanted to destroy the nerves in their brains. Based on the killer's use of chlorine and his construction skills, they identified him as a carpenter. By looking at the map, they found that the three body dumping sites formed a triangle. His next dumping site was likely to be the center. At night, two policemen arrived at this spot to keep watch. When a pickup truck suddenly came by, the cops started to move in. They quickly arrested the driver, but they were just a couple of minors. After questioning, they weren't murderers. They were just a couple sneaking out to play. The woman was lying in a pit, and the concrete was tilting down around her. Because of an argument, the son grabbed his mother and pushed her into the pit he had prepared. As the cement slowly flowed down, the mother's body was solidified directly by the cement. The mother cried out for help, but her son did nothing. The police arrived in time and rescued the woman from the pit. Jack already knew that the woman in front of him was not his real mother, but his own grandmother. Just a month ago, Jack learned a shocking secret from his sister. Jack was born after his sister got pregnant when she was a teenager. Because she was addicted to having fun at that time, she had no choice but to let her mother raise Jack. Knowing the truth, Jack couldn't accept it, so he started to kill people to vent his anger and tied up his own grandmother. He begins to ask her the truth and blames her for not disciplining his mother. In his anger, Jack pushes his grandmother into a dirt pit, but the police arrive just in time. Jack started to run away, but was tackled to the ground by a police officers. The other policemen rushed to open the barbed wire fence and took the woman out of the cement. The case was finally solved. It was a dysfunctional family relationship that created Jack. As a mother, if you choose to give birth to a child, you should raise him properly, not just throw him away like an object. Thanks for watching, see you next time.